So in this video we're going to look at example questions, which are realistically what's going to come up in the exam, and how to use double angles in, uh, in these example questions. So it's all about trigonometric identities. So the first question is write sine 3a in terms of sine a. So instead of 3a, they want everything to just to be sine a and maybe sine squared a. You're going to have that as well, uh, because it's still all sine a just squared. So anyway, I'll start with it. So the way I'm going to start it is I'm going to write sine of 3a is going to be equal to sine 2a plus a. Okay, so these kind of questions, it's, it's, it's not super easy. You're not going to see it straight away. A lot of it is just messing around with a load of different formulas and hopefully eventually getting the answer, getting one step closer each time. So this is what you're going to do for the first step anyway. So this basically is the same as writing sine of a plus b, and that's equal to sine of a cos of b plus cos of a sine of b. And again, that's just the formula from the book. So if I write sine of 2a plus a in this form here, I'm going to get, and I'll write this in green, it's going to be sine of 2a, okay, so the first one, and then cos of b, so in this case b is actually a, and that's a little bit confusing, cos of a plus cos of 2a sine of a. Does that make sense? So if you break it up into 2a plus a, you have to apply, so 2a is going to go in here, and then a is going to go in here, then 2a is going to go in here, and a is going to go in here, and that's what we have here. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense anyway. Uh, you go through it slower, and if you you could write sine of a plus b over it, and you could write out the whole formula, and just slowly stick them in. Uh, so now we want to get rid of everything that's cos and sine of 2a. So I'm gonna, first I'm gonna change sine of 2a. So sine of 2a, another way of writing it is, I'll do it in purple, is gonna be two sine of a cos of a, and then cos of a just stays as cos of a at the moment. Now cos two of a, how are we gonna change that? So if we think back to the last video, there's a way we can change cos 2 of a into something with just sine of a. So the one given in the uh, tables book is cos 2 of a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. But we don't want the cos squared a, so we can change that to 1 minus 2 sine squared a. And I'm not going to prove that again. If you want, you can watch the last video, and uh, it'll show you how you can do this. Um, and that's going to be multiplied again just by sine of a. Uh, so it's all about just trying again and again and again, hopefully seeing the right identities to use, uh, subbing them in, and then eventually getting rid of everything that isn't sine A. Okay, so now we're going to have 2 sine A, and this is going to be cos squared A, because we have cos A multiplied by cos A, plus, so if you do sine A by 1, it's going to be sine A, minus, and it's going to be, if you do sine A by minus 2 sine squared A, you get minus two sine cubed a. Okay, so people get a little bit confused, but it's just like if you had minus two x multiplied by x, it'll be minus two x cubed. It's no different with sines, okay? So now we just need to get rid of this cos, and then we'll be laughing. So if we remember, I'm gonna say sine squared a plus cos squared a is equal to one, and that means cos squared a is equal to one minus sine squared a. So this is lovely, we can sub this in here. So I'm gonna continue this in blue. So we're gonna have two sine a multiplied by, so instead of cos squared a, we're gonna have one minus sine squared a. That's gonna be plus sine a minus two sine cubed a. Okay, so multiply two sine a by each thing here. We're gonna get two sine a, yeah and it's going to be minus 2 sine cubed a. And then it's again going to be plus sine a and minus 2 sine cubed a. So our final answer, if we're going to put all of those together, and uh, I'll go red, final answer is going to be uh, 3 sine a minus 4 sine cubed a. 
So sine 3a, which is originally what they wanted, is equal to that. So that's sine 3a just in terms of sine a. So this is 3 sine a, and this is 4 sine a cubed, or sine cubed a is another way of writing it. Okay, so that's how to do that question. So like I said, it's not exactly easy. You have to just practice a lot and um, know all the different uh, identities. So not learn them off, but know when to use them and then hopefully use them in the right place. So sometimes you don't get it in one try, you have to mess around for a little bit first, but that's the way it is. The more practice, the better you will get at them. So for the second example, I'm just not gonna have enough space, so I'm gonna have to uh, erase all this stuff and we'll start again. So if you wanna have a look, just pause it and you can go back and then I'm gonna erase all this. So this is the second example we're gonna look at. We have sine 2a divided by one plus cos 2a is equal to tan a, so we have to prove this. So again, we're going to leave. Sorry, we're going to uh, just work with the left hand side and work the right hand or leave the right hand side as it is. Um, yeah. So let's get started. So I'll go bright blue. So the first thing is I'm going to break all these double angles up. So sine two a is going to be two sine a cos of a divided by one plus. So now the question is we have cos two a, but which one do we want to use? There are three different options for cos two a to which identity we want to use, so it's not immediately obvious which one we're going to do. So obviously the one I'm going to pick is going to work out because I've planned ahead, but in the exam say if you get something like this, it's just about trying each one. Hopefully you can see ahead and see which one's going to work. If not, just try all three of them in a row and one of them will work. Uh, so sometimes these questions can be a bit long-winded in that sense, but it's all about practice. The more practice you get, the better you'll get at them. So the one we're going to choose in this case is two cause squared a minus one. Okay, so that's one of the ones I looked at uh, two videos ago, um, or one one video ago. Yeah, sorry, one video ago. Uh, so the all the double angle formulas, okay? Um, so now two sine a cos a over this, so I'm gonna go to orange and drop another line. So I'm gonna leave the top line as it is, two sine a cos a, and then this one will cancel with this one. We're gonna be left with 2 cos squared a on the bottom. So I'm going to write that one more time again. So I'm going to write this in terms of just sine and cos. So it's going to be sine a cos a over 2 cos a cos a. So hopefully that will become more clear. So there's going to be a few different things will cancel. We're going to have cos a over cos a will cancel. The 2 over the 2 will cancel. And then we're left with sine a over cos a. And if you remember, sine a over cos a is equal to tan of a, which is equal to the right hand side. Okay, so that is that question done as well. So there are two different examples using uh, trigonometric identities and specifically the double angle ones. So th those are the kind of questions you're going to see in your leave insert. Uh, hopefully they all made sense. It's just about practice, practice, practice. And now we're going to look at product and differences of angles. So just one more video on trigonometric identities and then we'll all be done.